Hey, what's going on? This is Kent C. Uh, I'm here to just show you Ubuntu 15.10 or 15.10. Uh, I was trying to get this MAM emulator to work. And what I mean by MAM, I mean the multiple arcade machine emulator. So I was having this error. All right. And you can see by the Google search, you know, some of the things that checked out, like it checked out this link first. Okay, and uh, just gave some good tips. You know, it's indicating a uh, something to do with the graphics. That's about the only clue I got from it. I found this on Arcade Controls. Topic is basic Ubuntu with Wacade tutorial. This guy. So I went through and. You know, you can kind of see they give you the, the you know, the terminal uh, prompts. I actually did not use, uh, I did some of these, but in reality, skip the wah. I did that. Then I used uh, this so I can actually configure it. Okay. The, the ma'am. I actually came to this blog. Okay, so I went through the steps here. I think I used those. Used, uh, I did not use these. Okay, because it tells you, hey, <laughs> it gives you kind of like some of this information. You know, you can use it as you will. Uh, I didn't really need to use that. You know, you can go through, it gives you some ideas on what to do. Oh yeah, by the way, so I came here, I went to this blog, right, because I was trying to figure out the Intel underscore do underscore flush underscore locked problem, because every time I started MAM in terminal, uh, or LX terminal, it was not, <clears throat> it was not working, I would get this error right here, every time, and it just went load, so came down here, I tried this, what I've highlighted here, and it didn't really work, so then I came to this, all right, and I tried some of the suggestions in here, as you can see, um, I tried some of these, you know, and remember this is an Ubuntu, not Ubuntu, so, I tried some of this too. That didn't help too much. I didn't help. This is actually my post. This is actually me posting right here, okay? So that's actually what I did. Tried it from there. And then I put in there, I went to, you know, bottom left corner, preferences, additional drivers. I chose this. And then uh, it resolved it. So what did I do? Went to here, preferences, additional drivers. Okay, and then side here. Okay, I'll recommend that later. Uh, let me go back one second, please. Yeah, this is what I did. I went to, oh, excuse me. See, so I did something like that. Chose additional drivers. Just to show you real quick. And then, under additional drivers, this came up. And uh, right here, I clicked this. Installed it and I rebooted and it ended up working for me. And now, to show you real quick, I go under games. Okay, I have a few and I am testing it with the Gravis Gamepad Pro. 
Seeing as I press down, like we'll just choose this one. Oops. There you go. So your button's a little off. So I'm actually pressing it. So you can see. That it's actually working. It does have sound. I just have the sound off on this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some credits. Just hit press one or two players, press start button. One second. That's fine, it works. I've been using the keyboard with it, but watch okay, so I'm gonna press it right. Left, right, this is Mappy by the way, it's a pretty fun game. So you can see that this is actually working, boom, no problem. And uh, the buttons work. There's the emulator, if I want to exit, I'll press the escape. Comes there, you know, like I said, this is the one I got working. Okay. And once again, I can even press down on here. Watch down. Okay. And I could press red button and boom. Works. And you're wondering what type of system this is? I'm about to show you right now. Okay, this is a very old Dell Dimension 3000. Okay, it originally was set for XP. See, I got it working, and uh, and as uh, I mentioned before, you know I had to go and use terminal. This is the path I'm using to put the ROMs in. Okay, so and as you can see, uh, I had to make this folder. It wasn't by default. It makes a dot m a m e in your home directory. So I just made a MAM one, and then inside the MAM one I made a ROMs one, and then it loaded up all the games. Uh, I just have to extract them, and then it works. And uh, <clears throat> in ek.mam, let's see if I can pull up the terminal real quick. Okay. So you can see there's part of the path, there's the other half. Just hit enter. Okay. Put my password in. And then you can see it brings up this file. There's the ROM path. You see it's not a dot M-A-M-E, it's just M-A-M forward slash ROMs. Okay, so just put your ROMs in there. And uh, that's probably the simplest way to set this up. And uh, once again, like I said, this will work. That's how I set it up. You know, then you can come down. You don't even have the GNOME video arcade one. It loads games as well. Watch, I'll just show you. Click start. And this takes you in here. Same thing. So it's really not necessary. But and you can so control it with your keyboard like I am. Like I said, this very old Dell, and it will work. All right, thank you very much. This is Ken C.